So let's uh, walk it through. So I, I actually looked up in Wikipedia this thing where the words car and kutter come from. It's actually pretty interesting. I hadn't seen this exactly before. Um, so there was this original machine. By the way, once upon a time, computers were all, each computer is weird and different from every other one. So the idea of a computer with a 36-bit word, but why not, right? So, and it had four parts. So there was the address part, which was 15 bits. So you might surmise it had 32K of memory. Well, not exactly. It had 32K, 15, sorry, 36-bit words, right? Um, so that, that was the address part. Then the decrement part, there's more details in the Wikipedia article, what the decrement part, what does that mean? But that's where the D comes from in Kutter. So basically, the car's contents of address register, those first 15 bits. Cutter is the next 15 bits. And there are primitives for getting those other bits that now don't matter. Um, and of course, nowadays, there's not the car and cutter pieces are not all in one machine word. They're pretty much a point internally. They'd be a pointer to a piece of memory. You never deal with pointers in scheme, but yeah, at some point down in the innards of scheme implementation, it's a memory pointer. You'll never actually, it's sort of like Java in this respect, you never engage directly with the pointer. Um, so when we draw this 3, 4 thing, it, we're imagining it's two chunks of memory. It might, it's more technically correct. You imagine the console as being a pair of pointers. And so that points to the three object. Remember, everything's an object, like numbers are objects. The four, like, OK. So you could draw it like that. Um, with just a single object, or like if it's a symbol, it's, it's common to put it inside like this. OK, so what do people get for this question one? What's the print? All right, so when you, when you print a console, you get a dot between the car and cutter pieces. So 
what would this produce? It looks to me like, well, cons 1, 2 is going to produce 1 dot 2. And then if we're consing that with 3, we'll, we'll get this. Should we try it? Let's try it. Um, so what does it say? Cons 1 with cons 2, 3? One, two with three. Oh, okay. So it's, it's yeah. We're going to take that con cell and cons it like that. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so this one, how many con cells are there? There's three, right? There's got to be three because you've got three. This is a constructor, right? This like makes a con cell. When you see a con, yeah. Earlier when you put it in, there was a apostrophe in the front. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Here, see your question again so people can hear it. So if you go back to the racket screen. Yep. The result, you see that there is a apostrophe in the front. What is that? It pretty much means it's a literal. Okay. Like if we typed in, um, if we typed in without the apostrophe, it would try to evaluate it, and it would evaluate the one dot two thing and apply it, and this would just like it would not happen. But if we put the quote in front, it pretty much says treat that as a literal thing and don't interpret it. Sorry, I get them in the right place. So then it just gives the same thing back. Yeah. Good question. Okay. So back to this. If when we see three cons statements, there's gotta be three con cells. So I'm gonna start out by drawing the three con cells. And I'm gonna draw them in a non- random position. I think you can see where this is going. So let's say this expression, cons 1, 2, made this con cell with 1 and 2 in the car encoder position. This cons 3, 4 made one that's there. And then this cons, it attach the two of those things into a con cell. So this is how it would be drawn. This is just, this is just the like conventions for making these drawings or called box and pointer drawings. So it's from the contents of this one. It points to a thing which is a con cell. I saw a bunch of people doing stuff like this which is sort of, it's fine. I mean this is like correct. It's just not the way you would conventionally draw it. But that's those two are saying the same idea. It's just this, this one's the conventional drawing because you can see that's going to like fail when the stuff inside the cell gets too big to draw inside the cell. That's the only reason you don't do it that way. Um, but it, it is critical to get the idea. There were three cons statements. You get three con cells, absolutely. Okay, let's go um, to lists. Let's take a minute to do that. Yeah, we're still on time here. So I'll give you guys a few minutes to do this.
Okay, let's go over this one. Um, most people I talk to have it. So, all right, so this list, so most of the time you're not actually building up complicated, like weird con cell structures like this. Uh, like this, like if I saw this in code, it would be jarring. Because normally if you have a bunch of things you want to group together, you put them into a list. And so a list is this chain of con cells where one's linked to the next. And the list keyword takes an arbitrary number of arguments and then produces that many con cells and, um, and then puts the things in the, the car position. Each cutter points the next cell. The end of it you draw with a slash, which means the, the end of the list, the empty list. And um, in the book, the empty list object can be created with the word nil. Nil doesn't exist in Racket. And instead, quote of an empty list produces like this nil object, which you could think about as being analogous to a null pointer. It might even be like a zero. It's probably more abstracted than that. I bet in the very early lists that were closer to the machine, it was a zero in like the, the address pointer. Um, but so this is the way you create that object. So pretty much to convert this into a con statement, you're going to cons one, which gets you like this con cell, and then what's in the cutter position? Oh, that's also a con cell with two. And then what's in that one's cutter position? It's another con cell with a three and the empty list. And then you just have to close the parentheses. So that's it. Um, OK, I'm going to do I have time for this? Yeah, let's do one more question. We're going to do question four. I'll write it on the screen. Um, write code to extract the, the two from the list above. So in other words, if we say define foo to be list one, two, three, write an expression as a function of foo that will yield the two. Okay. If um, if here's our list, right? This is I've just called this thing foo. I made that defined statement. 
Um, what's the car of foo? It's it's one. Yeah, it's the contents of that of that cell. Like foo at at sort of a, at a deep level, foo is only like this object. It's this con cell. If you say what is foo, it in 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 scheme the the primitive for saying is it a con cell is called pair question mark. Basically, it says is this object a con cell? It doesn't know it's a list. It would have to walk its way down and basically look at the cutter and see if either it's a null pointer or a pointer to another con cell to say, is that a list? So we're just looking at that foo object. Yes, it's a pair. That's all we know. The car of it is, is the one. What's the cutter of foo? What is, what is cutter of foo? Yeah, Jennifer. But I can't hear you. Just say it louder. It's the second node. Yeah, OK. It's the second con cell. Yeah. Cutter of foo is this pointer, or it's this object. Cutter of foo is that object. And that's a pair. So now, once we've got that object, we can extract the thing in the car position. So the car of the cutter of foo is the two. That's the answer. And it turns out that's such a valuable idea of getting like the thing that's in the second position of the list, that car of, ca of catter is itself a primitive, and it's called catter. And you could even do, so that's like the second thing in the list. And then, in fact, C-A-D-D-R, which I don't think has like a pronunciation, Kadar, whatever. That's the third item. And in racket, Pretty much all permutations of up to four A's or D's exist. You can do C, D, A, D, R if that was valuable. Yeah. M mostly car, catter, maybe the third one. I suppose the fourth one could, I mean, it's a thing. That's the fourth. And then there's this expression that we'll, we're going to like dive into next week. When you, when you deal with lists and recursion, pretty much what you do is you recurse on the cutter of the list. You deal with the head item, the car, and then you're like, OK, I'm going to take care of this. And then I'm going to recurse on myself to deal with the rest of the list. And that's called cuttering down the list. Cuttering down. It should be if it isn't. Yeah, cuttering down the list. So we'll be doing that next week. Um, OK, so now we've got, um, yeah, all right, just so that one could simply be cat or foo now that we know that, or car of the cutter. Um, all right, so now let's talk about some um, procedural abstraction. Let me switch to the screen.